Hi everybody, it's Carissa from the Pixie Garden here. Um, I Today I thought I might bring you inside a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. I spoke about one in my last video, the 7 day juice cleanse. Um, so I, I get him on every day, I, I'm on a program, um, so I've been getting in for an hour and a half each day at least. Some days I get in twice, yesterday I was able to get in twice which is nice. So why a hyperbaric oxygen chamber? Um, so for me, I am healing cancer with lung mets. So um, I had heard about the treatment before, not really in much length. And so I had have a friend that actually had one and was using it for his treatments. And he lives predominantly overseas. Uh, for the last couple of years and so he's actually um, hiring it to me and so I have it in my home which is awesome um, because they are not a cheap thing <laughs> they are a bit costly but um, if you can get to hire one uh, if you cannot afford to buy um, I'm pretty sure they're over 20000 to buy um, yeah, if you can hire one, oh my gosh, I re highly recommend it. Um, I, as I said, have been getting in for an hour and a half each day, sometimes twice. Yesterday I was in for probably a total of about five and a half hours uh, all up. So I, I had some time on my hands and why not? You know, I, I do often come in and meditate. Meditation is very important and so it's a lovely environment to be in here to meditate. It does get a bit steamy hot, so um, I have a fan, <laughs> um, which helps. Um, you can bring in anything you need. Um, I, you know, bring in some tissues because of wearing these. My nose does run a lot. So, why? How does it a hyperbaric oxygen chamber help? Okay, so this is the basics. Okay, I'm not going to tell you in any technical terms. You can research it yourself, but this is the basics. Basically, it forces oxygen, which is, I have a fair, fairly high concentrated amount coming into me right now. So I have it at a level of 10, um, which to some people it can hurt your nose because it is quite cold coming in. Um, uh, you can get a lot of nosebleeds over time if you're using a lot of oxygen with nose bronze, but if you're only getting in for an hour and a half, you should be fine. I can handle it quite easily. Um, so, but you can turn it down if it's too high. So you have a high concentrated amount of oxygen um, that is being forced into your cells. So this is going into my bloodstream, into my cells and being forced in there. So lots and lots of oxygen, which cancer does not like. Uh, also, it's helping me to, um, to with my lung nets. So I have cancer in my lungs from breast cancer. Uh, I was exposed to mold um, in a house and uh, the landlord wouldn't let me out of that house and I had to fight. And so I was there for quite some time at which I got toxic mold syndrome and uh, so that's affected my lungs and helped um, the cancer to obviously get in there being so weak as they were. So that happened last year um, that I was diagnosed with this and after a, f a couple of years um, after being exposed. So if there's any mold in your house, I highly recommend that you get someone to come in and have a check and get rid of any mold. Um, I'm very strict with it here and actually we have some formed in the last few weeks. Um, unfortunately, there's a leak, so my real estate are onto that um, because I can't live with mold anywhere near me anymore <laughs> and we shouldn't have to. So um, keep a check on that. So. Oxygen being forced into your cells at a high pace is going to do some destruction towards cancer, which is what we all want, right? Yes. So, um, 
and it does help me breathe. It also helps with a lot of aches I get. So I have a, um, a lot of permanent nerve damage from surgery. So I have not been suffering at all from this. Um, I also get a lot of body aches because I am still on Zolodex, which is um, a hormone blocker. So it shuts my estrogen down, which means I'm not um, able to produce enough uh, estrogen. And estrogen is what is feeding my cancer. Although I've had really bad side effects from doing this, um, and will be weaning myself off Zolodex, uh, and and kind of doing that at the moment. But in the meantime, being in the chamber every day has really helped with all of my body aches, all of my bones and my muscles and my tendons, everything that's been aching due to the lack of estrogen, that, um, thanks to the Zolodex. And don't get me wrong, Zolodex has helped me, um, you know, to kind of, I guess, as a first port of call to, to stop the cancer from rapidly growing so that I could get a handle on it and, and get it under control. So, you know, as much as I'm an anti-pharmaceutical drug person, um, you know, sometimes you just need that little hand and, and use it for that um, because it's not going to fix your problems, but it's going to kind of put a stop to them for the meantime. Um, the same as pain, you know, basically. So <laughs> that's my view and it doesn't have to be yours, but um, find your way and, and start to make up your own mind and, and, and listen to your body and, and not so much of someone that has barely met you or known you. Um, you know, if you, your doctor, you need them there. Definitely need to be getting your levels checked. I, I have my bloods done regularly. I get them checked generally every three months. I have my tumor markers um, checked, and uh, you know, and, and I have a wonderful doctor that believes in, in, in more holistic approach, which is the best benefit. So if you can find a doctor that um, that can help guide you on your journey, then that's the most important thing. You know. Um, forever grateful to you Eddie, <laughs> my doctor Eddie. Uh, so yeah, this is my chamber, well my hard chamber. I'll give you a little tour. Um, so I bring a few things in that I think make it more comfortable for me and therefore I'm not frightened to get in uh, because it can sort of feel like it's a bit claustrophobic but not anymore to me so and I'm really quite a claustrophobic person so I'm going to turn the camera around and you can have our little squizzy it's not big <laughs> so this is the front end so basically I lay down here and as you can see I have a view of outside sorry if this is really Okay, and I'll turn it around so that you can see the end. Excuse my nakedness. Well, I do have the bikini on because it gets very hot in here. So, so as you can see, it's it's long enough. Like that's you know, I can lay up and my hand just reaches the top. So I think it's not too bad and. So that blue cord there, where my toe's pointing to, that's actually where the oxygen comes in. So I've got my nose pumps um, straight in that. And so for anyone, I'm actually hiring this out also for others to make use of. So if you do want to hire, just contact me if you're local. Um, just send me a message um, through Messenger. It's fine if you have my number, call me. So. So that's where your oxygen comes in and you have these little peep holes. Now generally my puppies are waiting outside. I'm not sure where they are. But anyway, they're usually outside the windows. <laughs> so there you go. So actually, let me turn that back around. So here I just have like, I've got a, a blanket 
bit there, and I know that seems weird because everything seems to be steamed up in here at the moment because it is quite hot. But it's hot outside, so I keep a blanket though sometimes at night time. It can get a little cool. There is constant air coming in, so if it's nice and cool outside, then it's cool in here. Uh, I have tissues. I always bring in some tissues. Um, like I said, my nose runs a little bit from the nose problems. Um, and there goes my phone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, it's like a whole wild laugh in here. Um, so yeah, so I just like I, I can control my chamber, so I can turn it on or off from in here, um, which is great. Um, and my friend that set this up, he um, when he uses it, he doesn't have anyone around to put him in or out, so. Um, so yeah, he, he sort, of, sort of made it that you can, I can get in now myself, I don't need anyone here, I'm safe, I can turn it off, I can unzip, I can get out. Uh, so yeah, this is the chamber, so it's not scary, it's actually nice and you can run in here and um, you can meditate, you can, uh, like I've got my computer in and my phone as you can tell because it's um, you can watch, like I have internet, so Wi-Fi, so I just sit in here and I'll watch maybe a movie or some a documentary, something that I'm watching, um, I can get some work done, so oh, I'm getting some shirts made, keep an eye out for these, uh, so I actually did that, a lot of it, whilst being in here. So my time is not wasted at all. Um, you can actually get a lot done. So I am offering for people that come, uh, they can bring in my iPad and they can watch something if they like. Um, you know, always watch a documentary. There's so many good ones, uh, especially um, my favourites, Live and Let Live and Cowspiracy and What the Hell and many 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 more so yeah so this is the chamber i think um give me a call if you want to use it or find out in your local area um it can improve your health and it definitely has helped me and i'm so grateful that i've had this opportunity so until next time um stay well stay healthy and always find a way to turn something into a positive. Okay, love you all. Bye.